Hey everybody, we're gonna go back into it. We're gonna talk about how to practice like a pro. Today, we're gonna to talk about some short game. So let's get into it. Hey everybody, Scott Hogan coming at you today. We're gonna to be talking about that short game and how to practice like a pro. We're out here at Broken Arrow Golf Club doing a little bit of work. And one of the biggest things that people struggle with is when they actually go practice, being able to A, have a routine that's gonna help them get better, but also you have to know that you're getting better. That's a huge deal. It's not just about getting better. You gotta build your confidence up. You gotta know that you are getting better. And that's what we're talking about in this series of videos. So make sure you click that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already. We're gonna have more about the full swing in this series. We're also gonna be talking about how to take this to the golf course. That is going to be its own separate video because I think it's really important and something that people don't really understand, okay? so. First things first, we're gonna talk about this short game. So if you remember from our video on putting, there's a couple of things that we need to have before we go and practice if we wanna have a successful practice session. So the first thing is gonna be, we have to have goals, okay? So what are our goals going to be if we are practicing? So what are some of the goals we can have in short game that make us better? Well, first thing I would think is, I wanna make sure when I'm hitting short game shots, I can make good contact. That's gonna be the first thing. Can I hit it in the center of the face? Can I get the ball in the air, have control of it? All of that. Now, the second thing is gonna be, can I control my distance, okay? If I'm having trouble controlling my distance, then my goal would be coming out here, hey, I need to work on some shots that are gonna help me understand how big of a swing, how to hit the shot so the ball is flying the correct distance, it's rolling, it's coming out at the speed that you want it. And then the final one that I would think that you would wanna work on is can I control my trajectory? Trajectory in short game is huge. We need to be able to control how high or low we want the ball to go. And so we need to set the goal of what are we gonna be doing with our practice. Now you could do all of them or you could work on just one of them in a session, but you have to have that goal so you can say, all right, hey, I feel like I'm getting better at that or I still need to work on it. Now, the other thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need feedback. Feedback tells you if you are getting better, or if you're successful at what you got going on. So we're gonna talk about a couple of things that I like to do to make sure that we are getting that good feedback and this will help you when you are working on your short game. All right, so first goal, we have gotta work on getting some good contact. So what I like to use for this is using some sort of aid that is going to help you understand where are you swinging the club through in your short game. So I like these little path guides from short game gains. You know, they're used for putting a lot, but doesn't nothing that says we can't just use them in the short game. So all I'm gonna do is just set these down and I'm gonna set them down just a little bit wider than a club head would be. And then I use the T to just stick them in the ground. Okay. And so right there, I'm gonna have a little bit of a guide here of where I'm gonna be swinging this club through, okay? So as we're practicing, you know, there's a lot of things that we can do in short game. We can have different stances, different widths. We can have different setup of the face, but the big thing is, can I make a swing and brush the ground where I want to? That's a huge deal that people overlook. So once I've hit a couple shots there, then I can throw a golf ball in here and we can try the shot out. So doing this drill, we actually don't even need a target here. I just happen to have it kind of set up towards this hole. But I, in reality, I could actually move this and just hit to an object or hit somewhere. So like, you know, this would be a good one that I used to do at home in the yard, like as a kid, when you just want to chip around a little bit, just making sure that I'm making good contact. Now, the other thing you can do is after you hit shots, what you'll start to see is you actually will start to get aware of where the grass is hitting on your club face. And so you can actually take a look at that and start seeing where the grass is and seeing if you're making that centered contact. But the big thing is we're just trying to get good at, can I brush the ground nice and simply, make that club go through, hit the ball in the middle of the face, and that makes the ball go in the air. If I'm not hitting it in the middle of the face, what we do from there isn't gonna matter. So this is huge, being able to make some shots, get that ball going and getting it airborne. So to do this drill, I would actually have you hit 
a good probably 30 to 40 balls. You can do it at a target again. That's probably a little bit more interesting, but you have to get through, get the ball in the air. You can do different distances, whatever you want, but you have to get the ball in the air and you have to be able to do it at least 100% of the time, I would say, okay? 30 to 40 shots, 100% of the time, you gotta get that ball in the air, right? So I don't wanna have any leeway on this one, okay? So that is working on that center contact, and that's some feedback if you're able to do it. All right, so the second goal then is can you control how far you're hitting the shot? So when we're doing this, uh, after we're getting center, center contact, that is gonna be number one. If you don't hit center contact, you're not gonna have really good control of your distance anyway, so that's always number one. But then what we're gonna use is our ghost holes. And what I like to do is just throw a couple of these out and just get a couple of different locations that I'm going to chip to, okay? And what I usually call this drill is same shot, different spot. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're gonna hit from the same location, you know, and you can do this from anywhere, but what I'm gonna do is try to hit the same shot, just a little chip and run here, and I'm going to see if I can get the ball to the first little dot here, okay? So, okay, so you can see a little bit deep, ran out a little bit. So I've got my second dot there that I've done. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, all right, I gotta get to the first dot. How do I get this one to where I need to be? What I'm realizing is in my practice, I have too big of a swing. What I think I need to hit the ball this distance is too big, okay? So there's that feedback that we're looking for. So I need to go a little bit smaller and a little bit slower with my swing. And that's a little better and then I can do it one more time and keep working my way in on that shot. Now, what I would do then is, after I hit three, you notice I only do three or four golf balls at a time, because I like to go round them up, think about it, and then come back. But then after I do this first one, I would go to the second one, try to work on what's my sizing for that one. Then I would go to the last shot. I could also move around to different locations. Hey, I'm gonna try a different swing, a different, trajectory on the shot that's something where when we start combining everything you can look at doing that i could also try hey this one's uphill this one's downhill i could try it off the fairway there's a lot of things you can do but you want the drill to be simple and again it needs to have an idea of what's going on so you can keep getting better and then you can see as i do this i improve and i've got my swing down to where i would be okay with that last one there we're getting better, we're making improvements. And then just to show you here, let's go ahead, let's actually take it out to the last one here. So we already kind of got that middle one. What we'll do is go to the last one. So I just need a little bigger, a little harder. Okay, just past the second one. And again, I'm working through what I need. I need a little bit more. There we go, go in, there we go. And it's making adjustments. So again, it's really important to have feedback when you're practicing, not just saying, oh, I'm gonna chip. I like setting up in a situation where, all right, hey, I have some defined numbers or goals that I have. Did I achieve it? Yes or no? All right, how would I adjust? That's what pros are doing. That's what you need to be doing in your practice because that's the information you're gonna take when you go out to the golf course, okay? So that is working on judging how much speed you need to control the ball. All right, and then the last thing that we work on, our last goal would be, hey, I gotta control my trajectory. Now this can come in play a little bit with controlling your distance, but what you're gonna to need to learn is trajectory is more about how are you going to stop the ball how are we gonna get this ball to stop where you want it to? That means controlling how much energy is in it. How is landing on the green? Is it coming in flatter? Is it coming in nice, high, and soft? So what I like to do for this game is I like to actually work on trying to hit to a target. So we call this same spot, different shots. Okay, so this is gonna be a little different than the last one 
because we're gonna be hitting to the same target, but I need to hit different shots and start working on understanding what's going on as we're going through these things. So I got my three ghost holes still out there. I'm gonna go at the middle one for this one, okay? And so the first thing would be, I'm gonna to try to work on a low shot, okay? I'm gonna work on my low shot. So I would make some of my setup adjustments that I typically make. I stand closer to the ball, I get the handle higher, I try to get the heel of the club off the ground and I do put the ball back in my stance. And from there, I'm gonna try and take that technique and see if I can put the ball right next to our target. Okay, so let's see. Okay, coming out low, it's releasing. Not bad, not bad. I could do a couple of shots at this if I wanted to while I'm practicing, but once I do that, now I'm gonna actually go to my middle shot, kind of my standard pitch shot that I'd play. Um, and so for that, I get a little farther away, make sure my stance is square, ball more in the middle, handle not as high, and then we play that shot from there. Make sure we're not in a hole. There's my more middle one. You can see I carried that a little bit farther. Ball doesn't go as far as it rolls on the ground. And then we go from there. So I have to adjust my landing spot based on how high I'm going. From there, I'm gonna go with the super high one. So I get the ball forward, I get my feet a little wider. I actually close them a little bit. Get this face open. And we're gonna try to make a bigger swing and see what's we can do. So we'll go up higher, let it land there. Landed a little too far, but you can see how it didn't roll too far after we go. So what we're doing through this process is getting a really clear definition of, hey, how do I hit these shots? Okay, what are my different keys that help me hit the shots? I'm also getting a feel for what happens when I hit those. When that ball was up front and I had the face open, that ball came out pretty quick. So I need less of a swing when I work on those high shots. Obviously I would hit more than one each working on this, trying to get to a point where when I'm hitting these shots, I wanna get where I have, if I were to hit three balls, I'd have two of them actually be within a club length of my intended target, because that's gonna be a distance I think I can make where I'm getting up and down. So that's working on your trajectories as you go. All right, so that's working on your short game. Again, defining your goals. What area of your short game are you working on? Are you working on just making contact? Are you working on, hey, I'm having trouble controlling where that ball is flying to and how hard I'm hitting them? Or are you having trouble hitting the trajectory that you need as you go through? That's what you need to start saying. All right, hey, what am I gonna work on? And then you can start saying, hey, I'm getting a lot better at these. These are gonna give you clarity, which gives you confidence, which makes you better able to perform when it goes on the golf course. Now, again, in future video, we're gonna talk about ways to actually transfer this. We would call this more of a block practice type thing where you're just kind of hitting shot after shot after shot. Now that helps you with your technique, but once you get this part down, this should help you but if we really wanna take our short game to the next level, we really wanna go there and start really scoring or take any part of our game, we're gonna talk about transferring it to the golf course. So we will do that in a future video. So make sure you click that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already. And thanks for watching. We'll catch everybody in the next one. Peace.